Today is a very exciting day because I'm going to review a camera unlike anything you've ever seen before. Forget Sony and Canon and Nikon and Fuji and Leica and Panasonic. There's a new sheriff in town. This. The SLR camera HD video cam. Check out this bad boy. What does this monster have in terms of specifications? Well, according to the box, we have a 16 megapixel sensor that can apparently only shoot 12 megapixel stills. With this camera, you don't have to worry about the inconvenience of editing RAW files, because it only shoots in JPEG. Apparently, it shoots full HD 720p. I thought full HD was 1080. It has electronic image stabilization, which means it's on par with the Canon EOS R. With this camera, you don't have to worry about the inconvenience of forever thinking, what lens do I need to buy next? Because it doesn't have a changeable lens. The lens on this camera is a 9.8 millimeter F5 lens. Although the equivalent focal length looks about 40 millimeters, which means the sensor on this must be the size of a proton. This also has a 2.4 inch LCD display on the back with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. So on the back of your camera, all of your pictures look sharp. The screen also articulates along with the rest of the camera. Power to this camera comes from four AA batteries, which are not included. The camera also comes with a built-in pop-up flash but don't worry about any high power flashes draining those four AA batteries because the flash on this is actually an LED light. Despite the fact that according to the box, this has a 16 megapixel sensor that lets you choose between 12 megapixel, five megapixel, three megapixel or one megapixel stills, regardless of what setting you tell it to shoot in, all of your pictures are two megapixels. In terms of image quality, Obviously, this thing doesn't quite reach the mark of those higher-end full-frame cameras that we're used to. However, if you like making your pictures look like a child's painted them, this is the perfect camera for you. In terms of video capabilities, they've exceeded themselves with this camera because it's stated as shooting 1280x720. However, all the video files are actually 1280x960, although they do look like they've taken the 640x480 and just scaled it up. Shh. So you don't need to worry about autofocus or what your depth of field is going to look like because it doesn't have any. The camera is a super lightweight construction. It's all plastic. It's the only camera I've ever known to have an Echo. The whole thing only weighs 300 grams. And that's with the four batteries inside. And the shell is so flexible that if you drop it, it just bounces back into your hand. In fact, the only metal part of the body is the camera strap holders on the side. So this camera forces you to think about what you are doing. It really tests your ability as a photographer. Plus it puts a lot of fun back into photography because it only actually successfully saves about 85% of your pictures. So if you are in the market for a photography themed paperweight, here is the answer to your prayers. If you are considering buying this as a camera to take photos, seek professional help. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.